Hey everybody, this is Dane with EverythingBoardGames.com. I'm coming to you today with a quick update on a preview for Flag Dash by Kirk Dennison and Peacekeeper Games that I did back in February of this year. I just got uh, the Kickstarter fulfillment, so my copy of it, which happens to be the Deluxe Edition, uh, in the mail a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to show everybody what the final version looked like. Uh, what the components look like. Uh, as you remember, I really enjoyed this game and uh, my only myths were with the components, but of course they were prototype at the time. So let's open this up and take a look. Uh, the box is uh, obviously really good quality uh, box here. It's thick. It's really nice. Everything fits well inside. I kind of have it open a little bit so it will open easily here in a second when I pull this lid off. Uh, inside we're going to have uh, our rules. Let's see if we can get the glare off that. We got the rules. It's a really nice rule book. It's it's small uh, and the rules are really simple as I had mentioned before. Uh, quick to go through, easy to learn. Uh, there's also a page here of variants that you can play. Uh, it's also double-sided with the different, uh, different variants included. Here we have the board. It's a small board but it works perfect uh, for the game. It's thick uh, it folds really well and it's double sided just like the prototype was so that you can play both sides uh, depending on what, you, what you're in the mood for that day. Uh, one of my big complaints uh, during the preview was that there's a lot of parts to sort out uh, and I mentioned that it'd be nice to have some way to store all the parts separately. So one thing that I noticed right off the bat when I opened this up was there is a lot of bags that can hold all the components really enjoyed that really really good touch so let's take a look at what I've already put in the bags it didn't take me long to get stuff sorted out we've got uh, obviously the action tokens here that players will use during the game uh, you can see these are these are nice quality tokens they're really thick chipboard here uh, nice tokens very vibrant colors really love the, the, the coloring and the artwork of this game uh, we have more tokens. These tokens are used throughout the game. We've got our holes, uh, we've got our traps, and some of the other special ability tokens in here. Again, they're uh, the nice thick chipboard here, so that's really nice. Got some more tokens, the energy tokens. I'm not going to pull these out, see if I can do it without too much glare. Energy tokens and uh, the personal flags for each character. Again, really nice thick board there. Uh, one of the neat things that came with uh, the addition that I got was these upgraded tokens for energy um, and then some of the wall pieces as well. I really dig these energy tokens. They're really nice. Look great when you get the game all set up. Uh, the cards uh, that came with the game are really nice as well. Uh, nice and thick. Uh, here you see we've got our action cards uh, that each player will use during their turns. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I got the, the, the Kickstarter uh, edition with all the extras in it. And we see we get four new characters. We have the purse lady, uh, we've got the pool shark, we've got the rider, and we've got the singer. Um, these are all... Uh, interchangeable with uh, the regular characters throughout the game and they have some special new abilities that they can do as well really cool stuff and then the the part that I was waiting for uh, most excited for and one of the things I probably was a little bit harsh on was uh, the, the characters um, but each character uh, piece now has its own meeple I uh, really love the, the, the house different they all are and easily to easy to recognize um, and what's really cool about all these guys is they have a hole in their head um, so they can easily carry around the flag once it's been captured really like that and that's a fun fun touch there and these flags came out really nice as well and then last but not least we've got the uh, player screens these are very similar to what was in the the prototype that I received they're a little bit thicker of course, the, the colors are great still, uh, and then we've also got player references on the inside of these uh, so people can look and see what needs to happen on their turn and what different action cards do as well. So 
This is it. This is uh, the final version of Flag Dash. Again, I really love this game. If you uh, haven't read my re review on it when I got the prototype, uh, click the I up in the corner and you can read that. Uh, it's a really fun game. Uh, highly suggest if you've got a family that you game with, with younger kids, uh, even a little bit older kids, they'll really enjoy this one. Uh, really fun to play. It's, it's a good programming, deduction type game. Uh, fun for the whole family. Go and, go and check it out.